In this video, I'll teach you how to use flag fields to automatically format the color of Gantt bars in your Microsoft Project schedules. Suppose that you want to display design tasks using a bright red Gantt bar and build tasks using a bright green Gantt bar. Well, there's a trick that you can use involving flag fields to automatically format the Gantt bars the way you want to see them. In this video, I'll teach you the tricks involved, so let's get started. In this project, I want to format the colors of the Gantt bars depending on who is assigned to each task. I want one color of Gantt bars for GC General Management, and then I want different colors for each of the contractors in this project, which include electrical, plumbing, drywall, elevator, roofing, and HVAC. Here's how to set up the process. First, click the Project tab to display the project ribbon, and then click the Custom Fields button. In the Custom Fields dialog, click the Type Pick List button and choose the Flag option. Select the first available flag field and click the Rename button. So I'm going to make this field represent tasks that are assigned to GC General Management. Click OK, and that creates the first field. From there, I'll need to create custom flag fields for each of the contractors as well. There'll be one for electrical, another for plumbing, another for drywall, and so forth. I didn't want to bore you with watching me type, so I took the liberty of creating each of these custom fields before I continued with the video. You can see that now I have flag fields for electrical contractor, plumbing contractor, and so forth. When finished, click the OK button. The next step is to create a custom table that includes each of these custom fields. To do this, right mouse click on the Select All button and choose the More Tables item on the shortcut menu. In the More Tables dialog, select the Entry table and click Copy to make a copy of this table. Then give the custom table a name. I'll call it custom flag fields. After the name column, I need to delete each of the default columns, and now I'll start adding the custom fields. The first one, GC General Management. I'd like to align the data center. I'd like to make the width of the column 15. I'd like to align the title center as well. So now I'll need to add each of those additional flag fields to this table. To spare you the boredom of watching me create this custom table, I've taken the liberty of adding each of the custom fields to the table. You can see the last one I added here is HVAC Contractor. Before you close the Table Definition dialog, be sure and select the checkbox called Show in Menu, then click the OK button. In the More Tables dialog, select your new custom table if necessary, then click the Apply button. Finally, drag the split bar over to the far right edge of the last column which in my case is the HVAC contractor column. The next step is to specify a yes value in each of the custom fields for the appropriate tasks assigned to that resource. So for example, I need to display all of the tasks assigned to the GC General Management resource 
and then specify a yes value for only those tasks. This is actually pretty easy to do. Here's how. Click the View tab to display the View ribbon. Then click the Filter, Pick List button, and select the Using Resource filter down near the bottom of the list. In the Using Resource dialog, click the Show Tasks Using Pick List button and locate the resource of interest, which in my case would be GC General Management. Then click the OK button. There are the tasks assigned to GC General Management. I'll select a Yes value in the first field, and then I'll use the Fill handle, like in Excel, to fill the Yes value down into the succeeding task rows. Let me go ahead and do that one more time. Now let's find the tasks assigned to the electrical contractor. I'll click the Filter Pick List button again. I'll choose Using Resource. This time I'll choose Electrical Contractor. Click the OK button. There we go. So for the Electrical Contractor, I'll select a Yes here, a Yes here, a yes here, then I can use the fill handle, then again, yes, then again, yes, and I'll use the fill handle one final time. So I'll need to continue this process for each of the custom fields, specifying a yes value where appropriate for the tasks. Once again, to spare you the boredom of watching me set yes values in each of these fields, I've done all of that before we resume this video. But I did want to show you that I've got yes values in GC General Management, yes values in Electrical Contractor, yes values in Plumbing Contractor, and so forth. Now the fun begins. I need to format the Gantt chart screen to show the correct Gantt bar color for each of these custom fields. Before I do that, I'll right click on the Select All button and I'll return to the default entry table. I'll also drag the split bar over to the right edge of the duration column. To format the Gantt chart screen, all I need to do is double click in the white part to display the Bar Styles dialog. In this dialog, I need to insert seven new blank rows for each of those seven custom fields I created. I'll select the Split item and then I'll press the Insert key on my computer keyboard seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I need to insert the definition for each of these Gantt bar colors. The first one I'm going to call GCGM for GC General Management. Then I'll go to the Appearance column. In the Appearance column, here's where I get to set the color for the Gantt bar. In the middle section at the bottom, I need to click the Pattern Pick List button, and I want to choose the Solid Color Pattern. Then I'll click the Color Pick List button, and I want a shade of red, so I'll select Red initially but that's solid bright red. I want something lighter than that. So I'll select the color pick list again, and this time choose more colors to display the colors dialog. In this dialog, I'll select the custom tab where I can use this little slider control. I actually love this. So let me go ahead and slide this up to kind of give me a nice pastel 
color of red, a light red. I do recommend, by the way, that you use a light color for each of the colors that you choose. Make them pastel colors. I think you'll find that works a lot better with the Gantt chart. When finished, I can click the OK button. Then I'll go to the Show For Tasks column. I'll click the Pick List, and I need to scroll down to Flag 1. Then I want this to run from the start of the task to the finish of the task. So far, so good. Let me do one more. The next one will be Electrical. And I'll scroll over. And in the Appearance column, again, I need to choose the pattern that is solid. And this one, I'd like to be a shade of orange. So I'll pick the orange color at the top to begin with. Then I'll click the Pick List. I'll go down to More Colors. And in the Colors dialog, I'll use this slider control to give me a nice light shade of orange. When finished, I can click the OK button. Now I'll go to Show Four Tasks, and this time I'll pick Flag 2. And again, I want this to run from Task Start to Task Finish. Once again, I spared you the boredom of watching me create each of these Gantt Bar Definition rows in the Bar Styles dialog. You can see for each of the rows, I've selected a specific color. So GCGM is a light red, electrical light orange, plumbing is a light green, drywall is a light teal color, elevator, very nice pastel blue, roofing is a pastel yellow, and HVAC is a pastel purple, almost a lavender color. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what the Gantt chart looks like. When I click the OK button, the bar style formatting will be applied immediately. And there we go. As I scroll through the project, there's some light red Gantt bars. There's an orange. There's a green. Let's scroll down a little more. There's another green. There's some more green. Here's that very light blue. Let's continue. More green. See what else we can find out here. Oh, yeah, look at all of this color here. There's orange, green. So I think you can see that the Gantt bar colors have been formatted according to who is doing the work on the task. This is automatic Gantt bar formatting using custom flag fields in Microsoft Project. Wow, there was nothing obvious about how to use flag fields to format the colors of Gantt bars in Microsoft Project, was there? I sure hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you have questions or comments, be sure and drop them in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.